everyone. Um, how are you? I uh, just want to make sure everyone with us tonight knows how to access the broadcast. I have posted it in our Connections event page for tonight. I am here actually at Karis Taylor's house. She has generously allowed us to use her office. And yes, she has a home office with storage space and organization and things that I don't have. I actually work at home from my um yeah, from my dining room table, and I'm a Young Living Gold. It's kind of a problem. So <laughs> eventually, I'll have my own office space. But for now, I'm so excited that you're here with us this evening. And it says right now that we do not have any viewers just yet. So I'm actually going to kind of delay a little bit and wait for us to make sure everyone can get on and check my phone. Um, just want to make sure that we are all able to join together and do this special Google Hangout where we're able to actually interact and exchange ideas and make our visions for next year because that's really quite frankly what we're doing this evening. Let me just go ahead and check. Okay, let me make sure everybody can find it. Are you on there? No, I see. Okay, I see two viewers. Is that Courtney and Aaron? I should be able to see y'all. You should be able to interact and talk. I'm sorry if this sounds crazy or live right now, but I just want to make sure um, that I'm actually able to see everyone. Okay, I have four viewers now. I think we're getting a little bit better. I just want to make sure is Aaron on here? Aaron, if you'll either pop up. Um, you can go ahead and actually click on the side where it has video and it'll allow you to moderate. I'm, I mean, I have it so it's, um, I, excuse me, I don't have to moderate the videos in the chat. Um, but I just want to make sure that you're actually able to see because I know there's some topics we wanted to make sure we covered, especially for um, a couple of you who I think are on here right now. All right, so we go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and start. We have five viewers, and I really wanted to start with something fun, something that I know when I started, I got really confused when people said, use your oils as a leadership tool. And I was like, okay, great. I'll use my oils as a leadership tool. And I didn't know what they were talking about. I was like, okay, I'll, you know, diffuse some peppermint. I'll make me more alert. I'll become a better leader. It'll be great. Um, I, I know I'm being kind of sarcastic, but I want you to think about the concept of you don't know how to do that. You're not going to know what to do. You're not going to know what to wear in your diffuser necklace when you're teaching a class. You're not going to know how to bring, you know, more prospects your way, but what you're wearing. And you're not going to have yourself gathered and put together um, by what is actually on your body. So we're going to start first with that. Um, the first part of it is I really want you to go ahead and if you have one or more of these oils, I want you to put it on right now, help it really um, see your vision, help you. This is kind of a funky color right here. Sorry. Um, and also, I apologize inside note, this is real life. This is what it looks like every day. I didn't get ready for you all, and it's on YouTube, and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and show you the four oils, or excuse me, actually five I have with me, and talk about why you should use them sometimes when you are teaching classes or trying to get yourself together um, or really trying to focus on a daily task that you might be undergoing. The first one is my favorite. This is by far my favorite oil. This is abundance. So the law of attraction is that what you put out into the world, you attract back. So if you put out and exude a sense of confidence and you exude a sense of um, wanting to increase in wealth and wanting to increase in influence, you're going to get that back. Um, it's very similar if you are, and I know most of you are, if you're a Christian, you talk about if you put out Jesus' love, you have it back upon you, you get out what you, you know, you get back what you um, put out. Abundance is a great oil for that. It has frankincense, orange, cinnamon bark. I love this oil and I wear it in my diffuser necklace when I'm teaching usually and um, just great testimonials about what that can do for your business. So I would encourage you, great one to wear out externally when you're teaching classes in the open. Gathering. 
I am not a huge fan of gathering, but I love the way it makes me feel. I feel like I literally have my thoughts gathered by wearing it. It has galbanum in it. Um, a lot of other mind stimulating, really brain function oriented oils. It's a great one to wear if you're really trying to get some work done. You're trying to do focused activity, big thoughts, big ideas, bringing them together. Same one, same way for, for bring, trying to bring people together. Gratitude. I think a lot of us get stuck in a place where we're not grateful for what we have and all we do is seek more. Well, I would encourage you if that's how you feel, this oil has a great way of stimulating the limbic region of your brain and really helping you feel grateful for the structure you've been given, what you've been given in life, and helps you reflect on what you have before you can move forward. So it's a great one for that. I love this oil. Um, the first time I was exposed to it, I actually won it as a, a gift from my upline, and now um, I have it from the Silver and Six kit. This one, Envision. Um, I had a contest going for this tonight. Going to pick a winner later on. Um, this oil is, um, don't want to say this to, to kind of downgrade its, um, its power, but it is a cheaper oil, but it's a great one that, yes, the name of it, of course, Envision Your Dreams, Envision Your Thoughts, but for me, it's just a great one to wear to help me feel like I'm inspiring others. Um, and I really love that. Karis is actually grabbing the oils right now and choosing which one she's going to put on for the class. And I think that's so much fun. And you should be doing this. And if you don't own these, I would encourage you to just pick one. Transformation is really my favorite. I'm not touching it on tonight. But just pick one oil and buy it just for you. Buy it for your business. Invest in yourself. Um, and finally, motivation. So this is one for me that I was like, oh, I don't need motivation. I am clearly motivated. I'm good. Um, but when I wear this, I literally feel a new sense of confidence and a new sense um, of just hunger for after my goals. I love this oil. It's a great one to help me get up and go in the morning uh, with, along with Endoflex. I wear it a lot now, and I just love the smell of it. So it's a great one for you to try. Um, and I'm going to peel back the label. I'm actually not sure of everything that's in here. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know. We have yeah, Roman chamomile, spruce, ylang ylang, lavender and that's all it's in here but um it's similar to the smell of gentle baby so if you have gentle baby that's one that i have and love and it's a great one um to actually use to help you increase your motivation so now i'm just going to check my phone quickly i'm sorry if that's being rude but i want to make sure everyone is able to get on or actually i'm gonna let karis do that yeah we're just trying to make sure you all can access it and that you know what's happening um and that you're actually able to Echo gone? Yes. Okay. I keep going. So there's eight of us now that are able to see it. So um, we're missing some people, but hopefully Molly's on here and she can tell me how we can make sure we record this so people can see it for later viewing. So what I want to talk about um, after we talk about what oils you can use to help you is I really want to talk about something that um, might seem simple for you all. And when I ask you to do your 25 things, some people kind of laugh. They're like, okay, yeah, 25 things. Great, Ashley. Great. I don't think like that. I'm a realist. Okay. Well, I want you to think about this. If every day you go to an office, you go to a school, you go to a hospital, you go to a regular job, then every day you're not asked to dream big. You're paid a salary and you have a, a list of expectations, and that's what you do every day. So we're not used to dreaming big. We're not used to thinking about what if, um, and we're not used to really thinking about how would this change my life. So when you all read my why, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit, you probably, some of you might be like, oh, she's crazy, you know, she wants to change the world, you know, the world's, the world's a pretty good place. I make, maybe you're someone out there and you make 60, $70,000 a year and you're good. Well, that's fine, but I want you to think about what money can do when it's in the hands of good people. It's the same thing to think about. What can the oils do if they're in the hands of people who know how to use them? What good can the world see as a result of families getting introduced to toxic-free products or toxin-free products? And to me, those things are so motivational. So when I list my 25 things, it's really easy. Um, I just think in my head and I have prayed over them. I have reflected on them. I have just really tried to say what would make my life different and how is that important to me and why is it important? So you don't judge your why. That's something that I have been taught over and over again. I will tell you, do not judge your why. Do not judge the things on your list. If the first thing on your list 
is I want an in-ground pool in my backyard, go for it. If the first thing on your list is I want to fund um, an adoption for four children from China, that's great. You can't compare what you have at the top to what someone else has. Um, so for me, you know, my husband literally, like his favorite thing on my list is building an outdoor kitchen and chickens. Those are on my list for him. <laughs> and I want you to think about different motivations. And so my why um, originally had nothing to do with abundance in my family. It was replacement income. So it was okay. Well, a teacher salary isn't really that much. If I can replace that income, I'm good to go because we'll have the same life. And most of us want to maintain the lifestyle we have or improve it. And so now my why is really morphed more into, I want to experience abundance, not because I want to roll around in piles of money, which would be fun, but I want to experience abundance because I want to change the world. I change the world through my children and the experiences they have. I change the world through the happiness and, you know, welfare of my family. And I change the world through giving to whatever I want to. I change the world through body, buying bottles of, you know, lavender and gentle baby and thieves and spreading them all over over to people who there's all kinds of ways we can change the world what i want to encourage you to do and think about the things prove you write them on a list write them down and really just start embodying those qualities that make you believe you can do it karis has a list a poster board it's amazing she's an amazing leader she K a month, 10k a month. And on her poster board, she has Rodney quits his job, monthly massages, maid service. You know why? That changes her life. Changes her kids' lives. That changes everyone around her's lives. 10k a month. Spa days for my team leaders. Well, that's kind of nice, even though, you know, I think we might have to reverse. Think she might have to include like her, you know, sponsor <laughs> role, you know. But she has it on there. Pay off my parents' mortgage. Think about the life change. So write them down. I know I harp on this over and over, but this was a game changer for me. So this is the second time I've written down my goals because the first time I wrote them down, a lot of them happened. Lori, I'm sure she's on here, or I hope she is. She wrote down last time the first thing was quit my second job. Well, she did. <laughs> she quit her second job. Um, work young living full time. Well, she's almost there. I mean, just an example of you will be able to morph this list and change it, but I want you to really think about your why. Um, your why is what drives you, what motivates you. The number one reason people um, fizzle out and really lose their momentum and die per se in this business is that they do not stay true to their why. If your why is I want to get my oils paid for, you are probably never going to do more than getting your oils paid for. If that's literally, if you get online, maybe a Facebook group, maybe you just have classes, and all you think of is, I want to get my oils paid for. Well, most of you aren't going to spend more than $300 a month on your oils. So what, you're going to enroll six people a month, never get people on ER, just kind of hang out. It's not very motivating. So think big. Jennifer Brickhouse, her goals today were so inspiring because she basically said, I'm not going to worry about what society says is reasonable. I'm not going to worry about what the world says. It's between me and God, and these are my goals. And I'm going to make them. I'm going to achieve them. And she said that she's going to be gold by convention. Well, I love that. And that's the next thing I want to say. That convention worksheet should motivate you. I'll be completely honest. I put something on mine, and I don't know if no, nobody called me on this, so I'm just kind of laughing at my team. I put I want to be diamond by convention. Like, it's a little funny. It's a little funny. So I just decided. Why not? Why not? Someone's going to be a diamond. There's going to be lots of new diamonds. Why not me? So I want you to think about the same way. Why not you? So right now you're a senior star. Why can't you be gold? Why can't you? You're silver right now. Why can't you be a diamond? Why can't any of you? I bet you all of you guys, if you put something on that sheet, you will work as hard as you can. And you know what happens? When we work as hard as we can towards goals and we don't achieve them, it's okay. Because you're like, I was all in. I was 100%, and that's all I can do. So I want you to think about that concept, that convention worksheet. It might take two seconds. I mean, literally, I think I spent like three minutes on it, but it's so motivational to me because it was me writing in paper, and I will tell you all, last year when I did my um, boot camp, and I said, well, what's your goal in 12 months? Okay, so my goal in 12 months was that I want to make, make gold by convention. Okay, 
So I could just make that my goal still, right? I could just like hang out, not do anything for any of you guys, not help you at all, and just stay gold and stay replacement income, right? I mean, I'm replaced my income. I could just hang out there. Cruise control, which is a 40, 40, 40, and the 40, we're talking about working 40 hours a week for 40 years, and then you retire at 40% of your pay, which is awesome, isn't it? Uh, is that awesome to anybody? Care is that awesome? No. It's really not awesome because that means you're saving to supplement 60% of your pay. So I could continue this 40, 40, 40 mentality, even with Young Living, to say I'm going to supplement, I'm going to make you know a couple thousand dollars a month, and I'll be good to go. But I'm not good to go. There's more people's lives I can change. There's more good I can do in the world. And I am so motivated to make each of you realize that purpose and abundance. So what we're going to do and what the, the bulk of tonight really is, um, is a personal visioning activity. And it's funny because those of you that knew me in college um, probably w would laugh. I was in a leadership program. I have a leadership minor. Never thought I would use it. And I'll be honest with you, since I've been doing Young Living, I use it every day, like without a doubt. Every single day I use it. And this is something that I went to a convention when I was probably 20 called Leadership, and we did personal visioning for the entire week, a week, which was a little intense when you're 20 because I was like, I don't really know what I want to do with my life or with the world. So now what I want you to do is I want you to get out a piece of paper, paper, any color. We have pink. We have red. We have orange. Karis, what color do you want? Uh, pink. Karis is going to take the pink. I have markers. I told you. I gave you a supply list, people. Supply list. Oh, and she's a bucket of markers, of course. So what I want you to do, and, and no kidding, you should do this, and it's important that you do this because I am telling you, you will be so motivated by this sheet of paper. We did this in July. Rachel, Courtney, Karis, and I did this in July. And you know what? Every single thing that we wrote down came true. Yeah. I mean, not being funny, not like it's a wish you make. We're not talking about like Tinkerbell, Disney magic here. I'm saying that when you write something down, you're going to stay true to that goal and you're going to look at it every day. My goals and my 25 things, and I will tell you, um, so this is my community church journal. Yeah, I read the Bible and I journal and I write prayer lists. But guess what? My business stuff is written in here too because I want it written on my heart. I want to believe it, I want to own it, and I want to go with it every day. So write these things somewhere that are important to you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do this right now. What I want you to do is, I want you, if you've ever done visioning activity for a big corporation or for somewhere else like that, a vision is um, not just a stretch goal, but a vision is an ideal. A vision is um, principles that you hold true in your life. So I will give you some ideas about this. For me, for my vision, uh, it's my why. So it's that huge motivational, I want to change my family and I want to change the world. Sounds simple. Yours might be a lot more complicated, but mine is a very simple. Um, it embodies everything in that if somebody says to me, hey, I need um, $8,000 because um, you know I have someone who's unsure, they're going through cancer, I want to build cancer treatments, I want to be able to give it to them. Um, if I meet someone that tells me that they are um, you know, out of work and, I, and how can I help them, I want to be able to help them. I want, when I, my kids go to school, go to, I want to be able to pay it in cash. I want to buy cars in cash. Right? I want to live, I mean, really, quite frankly, it's like living the ultimate Dave Ramsey lifestyle with lots of cash. I mean, that's really like how I would like my life to be. And that's how I want to make other people feel like they are empowered to change their lives. So for me, I will write my why at the top. That's my vision. So I want you to write your vision. And I'm not going to, I mean, we're going to get a few minutes to do this. Write your vision. Um, if you have another job right now, that doesn't matter. Like, that's fine. We're talking about how you see this change in your life. And then we're going to do goals and an action plan. So your vision is going to be that big overarching what motivates you. And beside it, like for me, I write things that, that, that didn't contribute to my vision. My kids, you know, my husband, you know, the Navy. So I'm going to write my vision right here on, this, on, a, on a corner. I'm going to write like these things that push me to that vision, like family, house. I mean, it could be mortgage. I mean, all those things that are big that push you. Then we're going to go on the front side of the paper and we're going to write our goals. So I am not being funny. Um, I really believe in the um, system of writing big, audacious, hairy goals. You know why? Because they're hard, so they're hairy. You don't really know how to get around them. They're kind of scary. They are audacious because when you tell people that, they're like, she is crazy. Like, what is she talking about? I mean, not only are they bold, but they're just they're a little bit, she's a little bit crazy. You want to be a little crazy. Um, you really do. Because out there in the world, people who change things, they are not normal. Normal status quo is mediocrity. 
And mediocrity, mediocrity doesn't do anything but breed more mediocrity. If you work somewhere right now where you go to work every day and you just merely finish your job and go forward, like the place that you work in is not changed by your present. I mean, it sounds awful, but I will be quite honest with you, I have worked at multiple places that are awesome places, but my presence didn't change the place I worked in. I did my job, I did my job really well, but I didn't look to changing any part of it. So your goal should be things like, you know, make platinum by March. That's a huge goal. Write that. Make, you know, um, gold by February. Write that down. Hit executive in February. Hit executive in January. Be a senior star in February. I mean, all those things. But then also in there, things like, I want to, you know, kind of similar to your 25 things, we're just going to try to keep them to five, maybe 10 if you can fit it on here, of things you want to do this year. So in 2015, I will eat healthier using the money I make from your living. That's a great one. In 2015, I'll drink Ninja Red every day. In 2015, I'll have a great big home experience twice a month. Whatever those are, if they're big to you, they're big. Like what I just said, my Ninja Red and the home experience, like those aren't big to me, but they might be big to you. So don't judge your goals. Don't judge your why. Allow yourself to dream. Think big. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. And I haven't done this yet myself, so I'm going to do it right now. And um, kind of awkwardly, I'm going to share mine with y'all too because I figure transparency is important. And sometimes we only lead people uh, or we only follow people that we actually would want to be like when we lead. And what I mean by that is you, when you are a leader, because you're all a leader here, so when you do a call like this with your team, you want them to feel like it's authentic. And so I want you all to know my goals. Um, and I want you to know my heart and where it is. So I'm going to go ahead and use this wonderful blue Sharpie right here because it's more fun than getting all mine out. Take a few minutes. I'm not actually going to talk. We're going to do this. Huh? Like beside mine, I'm writing, I have lots of kids. Funny, not funny. Huh? Yeah. Tell them what to do. Okay, so a couple people are having trouble getting on, but it's a great place for them to jump in. Um, so I'm I'm still on goal number two. So please take your time. Again, this is a workshop. We we're all together doing this in person. We'd really be taking the time um, to write this down to speak life into each other, positive affirmation. Um, I would encourage you, there are several tests that if you're um, the Mark Anacita color personality test, um, Myers-Briggs personality test, and the love languages, the five love, love languages, I would encourage you to take those and communicate with your sponsor what your, you know, what your personality is, what you are um, at the core, at the core of your being, what motivates you. It's very important to know that, and I will tell you, um, Offering incentives to you all in my team. I don't really think incentives are something that motivates most of you. And I think most of you are motivated by the future wealth earning potential and the ability to um, make your friends and family 
happier and healthier. So more of a servant leadership combined with that abundance in your own life. So let me keep writing. Okay, so I'm writing seven. Sorry, I know I said. Okay, let me see who's in this. The video is live, so you shouldn't have to get it to play, just so anyone knows. If y'all can help, everyone who's on, if you can help people get on that aren't. I don't mean to make this a disaster, but I just think it's a great way because it will be on YouTube um, and we can share it later on, but it's a great visioning activity and you being able to actually do this on your own time as well. Last one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and present to you my vision um, and actual 2015 goals. So I did not premeditate this. This wasn't something I had planned out. I'm doing it right now, and I think it's a huge, um, a huge way to motivate myself and a great way for you all to see my um, my motivation the way I think. So some of you all might take more time. I'm going to read mine out loud. So for my vision, I simply have three bullets. I'm going to change the world. I'm going to have an abundance of wealth for my family, and I'm going to create a community of healthy people, whatever that might be. Um, some people that might be getting rid of candles, that might be getting rid of, rid of um, medications, that might be just simply replacing their cleaners. Healthy is um, a different thing to everyone, so that's why I just keep it very broad. And my motivation for this um, comes from I have lots of kids, which is a joke, but not really a joke. I mean, I literally just have a brand new child in my house. That's a huge kick you in the butt motivation. Right? Because I am like, oh, well, my kid today for the first day started private school, right? So if I love that school and he stays there, then I have another child that I might have to consider staying. I mean, there's just all kinds of things that I think financially with having kids motivates you. I'm a Navy spouse, so I don't really want to leave my team. So I'm motivated to retire my husband because I don't want him to move us because this is where my, you know, this is where 80% of our team is. So out of, um, I feel so weird saying this, but I think it's important for you to understand it. Out of almost 600 people, 500 of them are here, like in Hampton Roads here. That is an impact on the world. Um, a burning desire to do this. I am just so motivated and driven to do this. I don't know how else to describe it. And then finally, I feel like it's a complete calling from God. I mean, this is something I prayed over when I quit my teaching job. It's something I feel like is a calling from God. So my 2015 goals, um, one is continue educating my team, new, two new products per month. So that is always my goal every month, and sometimes I have way more, or sometimes I'm replacing a lot. So two new products per month for me to review and tell my team about every month. That means even if I need all replacements, I still have to do something new. And it can't just be like something I like that I'm buying again that I haven't told my team about. It has to be brand new to me. 
Uh, two is hitting platinum by April 2015. Three is hitting diamond by July 2015. Four is attending three Young Living events and visiting six leaders, as in traveling. I want to know the color of their carpet. So I will be staying with them if they'll let me. I'll be traveling to see them. Six leaders. I know I have my names of the six leaders, but you know what? That could change the first month of the year. Can have all kinds of new leaders in the next six months. Um, attend three Young Living events. So convention is probably going to be the first one, but then they have a beauty school. They have different raindrop trainings. Actually, I am lying. I am attending a Young Living event next Wednesday. Well, there we go. Maybe I should make it four, right? That's the first month of the year and I already knocked one out. Karis is laughing at me. No, no. Five, continue developing myself as a leader, investing in books. In other words, if a book costs 20 bucks, I should probably buy it because it's worth my time and worth my energy and worth my money. Um, CDs, you know, coaching, no, I don't pay a coach right now. I'm not saying to pay one, but just all those things are valuable. And workshops. So like next year, Mastermind that happens in Florida, I will go there because I think it is valuable for me to be there. The GoPro um, convention that's happened, that, that not every year, but he has it sometimes, I will go if I can. Going to see um, Danny Johnson, Sarah Robbins, anyone I can go see speak, I will. Um, number six is motivate, inspire my leaders through incentives, training, and regular communication. So I intend to do that even better. The more we grow, um, I think the better we'll be and the more I hope to be able to do those things. And then finally, seven, you're going to be like, what? That just came out of nowhere. But I will be honest, I don't know why, but this is something that's huge for me. Um, I want to sponsor Healthy in a Hurry team floats at parades. Like, I just want to be able to, if somebody says, hey, there's a women's event next month, I just want to be like, sure, you want to work um, it? Here's your 500 that's, that's it. Here's your $500. Go to the women's event. And included in that is I want to sponsor a rock solid team build where not only is our name on the build, but we're able to go participate as a team in a, in a community event that's something that a lot of us care a lot about. In other words, all, you know, we got 40 spots of volunteers, and I want to be able to say, here's the money to do it. Let's all go. If I can do more than one, I will. So that's my wonderful front side. Now the back side is literally going to be actions. So that's great. It's great that I want to hit platinum and continue personal development. But your back side is, okay, wonderful goals. How are you going to do them? So action steps, I want you to write 20 action steps. Really, each goal probably on here for me could probably have 50 action steps per goal. But you can go ahead and do that on your own time more and more. Right now, I want 20 action steps. So my first action step, which um, <coughs> might sound simple, but I have always and always I have always have said this since March of this year, and I'll continue saying it. I will always have a class a week. Is that what Kara says on her paper? Hundred percent. You know why? Because people need opportunities to learn. So I will always always have a class a week, and I don't care. I'll just be completely honest. I'm going out of town for eight days, but guess what? It's not Sunday to Sunday. Do you think I'll have a class before? Or at least I'll go to a class, help with a class? Yes. You think I'll do one after? Yes, I will. So I want you to think about that's just me personally, but that's an action item for me. Um, I'm going to have a my next one that I'm writing that I won't talk for a while. Are care calls, texts, emails. And again, y'all can think I'm crazy, but again, I think about the, the size of our team. I'm going to have 20 per week is my goal. And what that basically means to me is, you know, yesterday I had four people that said, I, you know, I need you to call me this week. And I, with my little kids at home, I don't have a very good ability to say, hey, I'm going to call you tomorrow at noon. I say, hey, I'll call you this week. And I do call them. It just might be like Thursday at 6 o'clock at night. It just depends. So keep writing action items. How's everyone doing?
Who's in for a retreat for our team this summer? Who wants to go on a team retreat? Yeah? I'll say this while I'm just on here right now. So um, just something that Adam Green says that um, he's in living in Royal Crown Diamond and he's young. I believe he's 25. Yeah, 25 years old. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, but he always says invest 20% of your earnings in your business. So really I would encourage you that at first, I mean, it was like investing 100% of my earnings in my business. For a long time I invested probably 100% of my earnings in my business, but that was okay. It was okay with my family. It worked out for us. Um, but you only need to think about doing 20%. And so what that means is if you're making $400 a month and you're like, awesome, I'm going to spend 300 on oils and then that's all I'm going to do, well, you probably should at least invest enough into doing incentives for your team, um, even if they're small, even if they're like, hey, I'm going to buy reference guys for you know the first five people to sign up. Whatever you're going to do, you need to think about investing in your team or in yourself and professional development. You're fine. I have three more to go, guys. Why can't we interact? I don't understand. I don't think there's a showcase. Okay, I'm going to try to just play with this for a second. I can see you, Aaron. So what? Who else is here? All I can see is that we have eight viewers, so it's ten. It's about ten people right now. Okay. All right. So if everybody has all of their um, wonderful 20 things written down, we're not going to go through all of them, but I'll just tell you examples of mine are sponsor one member, um, trip fully paid to convention, um, invest 20% of my team, create three new recipes per month, create a team website that I don't have to maintain. Yeah, it sounds lazy, but I can't do that. Cold market training events, eight per year. I mean, cold market events, eight per year. So that's like cold market going out, having a table set up somewhere new. Um, purchase online, sharing platforms. So we don't have to use something like Google Hangouts. So actually purchase GoToMeeting or something like that. That's a monthly fee. Um, this sheet of paper, this should be something you look at every day. 
So for me, and I, again, am not highly organized, but I will lose this unless I keep it somewhere that's precious to me. So this piece of paper will now go for me. For me. I'm saying for me because I don't have a real office. Like, Paris can hang hers up somewhere. But I'll put it inside the front pocket. I'm going to fold it up probably in the fourth, and then I'm probably going to put it in my journal. So basically what's going to happen is unless I stop reading my Bible, I'm going to see this, which would be a problem. So it's going to go in here. I can read it, look at it, reflect on it daily, and track my progress. There is something that, um, I don't know if Molly's on here or not, but I said something to her today about, hey, well, you're on track for this at the end of the month. And she's like, what do you mean I'm on track for this at the end of the month? Well, pull out your phone. How many of us have a smartphone? Or any phone has a calculator for the most part. Um, uh, yes, team retreat, Courtney, I'm so all about it. So what I want you to think about when you do this is, okay, somebody tell me your goal this month. Post it on Facebook if you can't post it on here. Actually, Karis, just tell me your goal. One of them? Tell me your money goal. Like, you don't want to do it. No, what's wrong? Like, the end of this month, what's your money goal? Not making, what's your, your OGV? My goal this month? Your OGV. 8,000. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So here's what we do. I know you want me to say 10,000. Uh-huh, I do. <laughs> Karis is being shy, because Karis should make, I'm just going to say, Karis should make silver this month, so her goal should be 10,000. But she sells herself short and says eight. <laughs> so 8,000, how many days are in January? 31. Awesome. So divided by 8, so 8,000 divided by 31 is, seriously, this is not even a lot, Karis, for your team. $258 a day. So I divided, see this? I divided 8,000 by how much? 31. And I got 258. So she's up to how much? I'm right on track. 1,500 divided by, is it 6? Is it the 6th day of the month? Yes. Yeah. Divided by 6. So her average, she's right on track for her goal. Okay, so never mind. So she's right on track for her goal. So if your goal is um, 50,000 OGV in a month, you divide that by 31, and you get $1,600 a day. So then $1,600 a day, if it's the 6th of the month, you would times 6, and you should be at $9,600. So do you understand how this works? So a great rule of thumb, too, is... Um, most people, on average, that's if you're a relatively heavy enroller, make 7% of your OGV in income. So if you have $50,000 times 0 .07, that's $3,500 a month. So if you want to make $3,500 a month, you need to have a volume of 50000 Does that make sense to everybody? If you want to make, and that's not guaranteed, it could be way more, it could be way less. So if you're making, if you have OGV of $100,000 a month, you're making $7,000 uh, $7, a month. So it's a great way to look at it. Um, it's a great way to um, really nail down what you're, what you're trying to make. Um, what I did probably, to be honest with you, until a month ago, two months ago, is I always looked at my enrollments and said, okay, add up the 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 bucks, do the 25% fast start bonus, and then maybe I'll make like 2% off everything else. Like I had no idea. So Oily Tools is a great way for you to track that. I would encourage you all to have it. And when I said daily planning, if you are someone who is in the business of treating this like a hobby, you will get paid like it's a hobby. No one gets paid, right? No one gets paid 50 bucks a day or 100 bucks a day working a hobby. If you want to make money and you want to live a life of abundance, treat it like a profession because people will recognize your professionalism and they will go forth and duplicate that effort. Half of the training you give your team is in how you enroll them. If you send someone the link and they sign up as a customer and like you never call them and then they try to buy something but it's expensive and they haven't heard from you and you don't welcome them to your group and you don't do much with them, then they're going to treat you like you are a, you know, somebody doing a part-time job, hobby. If you want to be a professional, treat it like a professional job and you'll get paid like a professional and you'll earn the respect of a professional. All right, so measuring abundance and abundance tracker. I love, love, love Melissa Pepping's abundance tracker. I am going to put after this call the abundance tracker um, call from her that she actually did on Wild Fast Track and all the abundance tracker link. So what you do is you put in all kinds of data, statistics every month, and you see how you've grown, how you've developed, and um, you know you updated yours today. So yeah, Karis looks at hers on a regular basis. I'll, 
yeah, you start in boot camp. A lot of you guys that are in boot camp, it's a great thing to do. I'm going to um, offer an incentive for the abundance tracker. I'm going to offer some abundance to those of you. Well, maybe not, actually. Y'all just got abundance when Lindsay was here, right? Little samples of abundance. Okay, I'll offer something else. To those of you that complete your abundance trackers and post them. So the daily breakdown, the abundance tracker, those are nuts and bolts things that, again, if this is a profession to you, then be a professional. Because every day, if you need to make $258 in OGV, what that means is if you are not personally making those in ERs from people that you've enrolled or that you're sponsoring, and or you're not signing up people, that basically means that you're relying on a leader under you to do that every day. So if you're relying on someone to do that, you better be helping them do it. What I'm helping them is if you have somebody under you who's super independent under you, you know, you might not have to really talk to them, but you might just kind of encourage them, ask them their plan for the month, ask them if you can help them with goals. Um, that really might be it. You might be calling once a month, not a lot, or you might be talking every day. It just depends on the person. Um, important to do that though, and that daily breakdown. So your resources. I for the new year, you should know your resources. Um, know your upline. So something that I fail to do that I need to do that's of great value is I will tell you all, I all the time, regularly, probably 98% of the people I enroll, I move under someone else all the time. Um, that's simply because I learned a lot about structure my first month in this business, and I do my best to not keep hundreds and hundreds of people right under me. I put them under my leaders. So if you are someone that when you click on your member info and everyone go do it, and I'm serious, saying this because this is a very important point for a lot of you. If you click on your member info and it says sponsor, if you've never heard from your sponsor, okay, Karis is looking at me. Hopefully it's not her. Um, if you've never heard from the person that is your sponsor, um, I apologize because when I move people, 100% of my intention is that that sponsor takes over the fostering and mentorship of your business and of you. I am happy to reach out and help you all that I can, but that really, that person is that there to walk alongside you and guide you in that role. Um, so please, if you're sponsor someone that you don't work with, then reach up to the next person above them. The next person above them is... Um, you know, someone that you feel really comfortable with, you feel like you resonate well with them, then reach out to them. If that person isn't, then reach out to the person above you. And if that's me, and if you don't resonate with me, you don't like my style, you don't feel like we work well together, I will tell you, Christina, you know, Tracy um, Nielsen, Lindsay Grimont, they will work with you. They're happy to do it. So find someone that you click with and really plug into them. Um, you know, for me, it might only be once a month communication. For some of you guys, I communicate with you so frequently. I feel like we don't talk for three days. I'm kind of freaking out every day for a lot of you. So um, just find out, find someone that you plug in and that you work well with. Coaching calls, I'm not saying hire and pay a, a business coach necessarily, but people like, um, you know, Brian Crothers, um, Jen Springer on Monday nights, YL Fast Track. You should be listening all the time to calls to improve your business. I mean frequently, like on a daily basis, I'm listening to at least a call. Every time my upline offers a training, I 100% do it, unless there's some reason I honestly cannot avoid the conflict. But I'm always doing it. If Tracy offers a call, I'm on it. Lindsay offers her calls weekly for Silvers and Above, I'm on it. Uh, YL Fast Track, always listen to it. And I'm not saying be like me, I'm saying be like a leader, right? Be like someone who uses the resources. The password for the YL Fast Track website to access recorded calls is YL Fast. <laughs> so pretty, it's pretty simple. Um, great calls to listen to. Oily Angels, I was mentioning Lindsay does weekly calls. You can access the recorded um, calls. I believe I have a file on our page. Um, Don't mess with Mama. Tracy offers a uh, not always weekly, but for the most part, um, calls at least happen a couple times a month. You can access those calls. I know we had some trouble earlier today, but you should be able to access them. Our calls, um, I offer calls to you all. I know they're not always recorded, but I think a lot of them have to be interactive. If you miss them, then schedule a time where you and I can get together and actually chat um, and, and catch up with that. And finally, books. I feel like I say this frequently. I talk about books all the time. I know that. I don't mean to be doing that, but I'm harping on it because I feel like a lot of you are not doing that. And you're missing out on this rich opportunity to bless your life and to help you do more than pushing the car up the hill. So in the four-year career, and if you haven't read the four-year career, that's a problem. 
it's like a 90 page book it should take you two days if you graduated from boot camp and you haven't read the four year career I wish I was your teacher because I would have failed you like I, I honestly would have given you a giant F uh, because you should read the book I gave my best friend the book last week because I think she could benefit from this business and I said read this and go over these you know go talk about it to your dad and talk about it to this, this guy she works for because I think she can benefit from the business if you don't know the business business you can't spread it to others so read the four-year career he talks about pushing a car up a hill so the whole point is it really sucks to push a car up a hill like it sucks to push a car across the street if you have to if you ever run on gas or had a reason to help someone push their car but once you get to the top of the hill guess what is carrying you down the hill what's carrying you down the hill gravity momentum and you know what you can't let the car go like you're not losing your car right you're not gonna let the car go and just see if it crashes into something but you're gonna hang on for the ride how many of you are surfers yeah I'm not so we're gonna try and make this example um, when you catch a wave you don't just like hang out and hope that the wave just coast you in you have to ride the wave you have to have core strength you have to have balance you have to have agility you have to have skill so please once you realize that, that this is you know this is all hard work but when you get to the top of the hill like you're hanging on for this awesome ride you're leading people you're guiding them you're directing them and you're changing lives and you're bringing families together you're bringing parents home from work you're, you're allowing people to spend more time with their kids you're allowing them to be healthier and you're allowing the community to be changed by the wealth that it's supporting so some other ways you can invest in your business with that 20% that I was speaking of um, a Zyto scanner so they're $400 um, not awesome right like that's expensive but you will benefit greatly from that so that you just want to plan into your budget plan into your business great thing for you to have and own um, training opportunities if you're someone who likes to listen to CDs there's lots of people I can recommend um, and just in yourself so what I say about in yourself is if you are working a full-time job plus you have kids plus you're doing this on the side like you probably should get a massage or a pedicure or your hair done sometime I'm kinda of laughing when I say it but take care of yourself if you like to pray and have quiet time don't use your phone and let it take over your life <laughs> I love how I said that I have like 29 notifications on my phone if I wasn't doing this I would probably let it take over my life don't let it take over those pieces of your life that you have to maintain in order to be a strong leader and be a good support for your team in 2015 um, so again training self mentioning the Zydos the books all those things are ways that you can use your resources um, strategic placement this is something not going to detail but I just want to be very broad with it and make it make sense um, the comp plan in Young Living is very generous but the only way you would advance is through really growing your legs which means growing your leaders so what I want you to do when you're growing your legs growing your leaders is your um, so when I first started this business I will be very honest I signed up like 40 people in three weeks okay so that's awesome a lot of you guys will do it a lot of you won't it doesn't matter I'm not comparing I'm simply telling you this is how I learned about it um, I felt very overwhelmed but here's what I found I found friends and leaders who were willing to step up and say yes I want to build a business that's the first part and then secondly they were willing to step up and say um, yeah I'll do ER you know I'll make the commissions I'll help you and then what I did is I built teams under them I moved people under them at a pretty rapid pace on a daily basis every time someone enrolled I moved them under one of those two people move them under move them under um, and then I got a third like move some people under there I don't enroll as much anymore so I don't really do it as much when you're first starting you want to find people that are great leaders that you can help grow them because you're not just moving them for yourself you're not like oh I want to hit executives so I'll just make this leg of a thousand and that'll be awesome no you're telling that person hi you're valuable to me and I'm gonna put people under you because I see your potential I see that you're a leader and I see that you're going places and by me putting someone under you yes short term it helps me that's great but long term I'm building you up I'm letting you know you can do it I'm being encouraging I'm showing you that I'll partner with you and walk alongside you in this journey you might feel lonely sometimes you might feel scrambling but through using strategic placement you're affirming your leaders you're building your team and you're allowing another level of sponsorship so if you're on this this wonderful um, hangout and I moved you under somebody don't ever for a second or a moment feel gypped ripped off 
or thrown aside. Because you know what I did? Is I said this person could really benefit from the relationship they would form. And I'm only saying this, um, not only saying it, but I mean, I see Aaron on here. So I have moved people under Aaron, and I hope they say, wow, I see her value. And I see her value, and I see the value of the person she's under. I see the value of Karis, and I see the value in Ashley, and I'll just use all those resources. That's what you should do. Use all your resources. We're all here to pour into you and to pour just advice and confidence, um, affirmation, and, of course, knowledge. You know, we learn knowledge from reading. You learn knowledge from, from doing. Uh, actually, never do it from, from reading, from being in boot camp. You gain wisdom from experience. So people who are wise in this business have been doing it for a long time, have probably enrolled a lot of people, have taught a lot of classes, so you'll get knowledge and wisdom from your upline. So please, I encourage you to reach out to them if they're not reaching out to you. Um, and strategic placement, again, what you're doing is you're looking to move people because your front line, you know, if you have 200 people on your team, your front line should still probably be like 10 people or less because you don't want to have um, direct support of all those people. You want to have a place to move them so they have support from another mechanism or another person so that when they have to teach a class, if you're not available, they have someone else to reach out to. When they have a question, they need you to call leadership, you're reaching out to your sponsor first um, and foremost. So please, you're going to look at who can be good sponsors on your team, move people under them, affirm them, raise them up, lift them up, and guide them and direct them and help them be a good leader for the people you're placing under them. The Rising Star Team bonus for executives and under, please look at that. I just posted something about that the other day. It's an amazing bonus. Um, and then when you get to be silver and above, you get the generation leadership bonus and the leadership shares in the pool. Great way to... Um, Again, long-term income and strategic income from doing that strategic placement. Because a lot of us in life, um, this doesn't happen by chance. You're not randomly enrolling 100 people and hoping two of them enroll another friend. Because if you enroll 100 people, you better help build up that team or you're going to come to a place where you can't support all of them and no one's growing. And um, if you're not growing, you're dying. I mean, quite frankly, in this business, if you're not growing, you're dying. And that's because it is too hard for you to get 150 people on ER on your own. You need new sponsors, new people to come in, walk alongside you on the journey, um, and help you to actually support each other. I mean, if you know about an example, as you know how elephants live, um, when an elephant is going through something and they're in pain, they don't lay down ever because they're afraid they can't get up when they're in pain. They have someone, another elephant, a walk alongside them in the journey and physically hold them up. So you shouldn't physically be holding your people up, but if you're an enroller and you sponsor someone, you're trying to create and cultivate a leader, you're going to be holding them up, affirming them, and helping them train their team and move forward um, and walking alongside them. So really, I don't have a whole lot more because I feel like I've just been talking and talking and talking. I hope that you're thinking about your goals for this year. I hope you're thinking about some actionable items that you can put into your daily schedule, those goals that you're setting. I hope you're thinking about strategic placement, what oils to use to motivate yourself. Um, if you're laughing when I say the thing about like, hey, Ashley says a class a week. Well, I do say that, and I do do this as my full-time job. I also have a husband who works overnight frequently, and I have three kids. Those are not excuses. They're not excuses. They are barriers, and anything you want in life, you overcome the barrier. So what I'm saying to you guys is I don't care if your barriers are way bigger than mine because I'm sure lots of you have them. They're way smaller than mine. You just overcome them because if you want it and if your why is motivated enough, it will not matter. Your why should motivate you beyond reason. You shouldn't be able to fathom it. So I would ask you, pray over it, think over it, talk about, talk about it with your spouse, talk about it with your sponsor, and make sure that you are very solid on your why, your motivation, your vision, your goals, your daily action plan. If you know you need to make $1,600 a day to maintain that OGV, to hit a rank, do it. And if you can't do it, reach out and say, help me. So for this year, going forward, use the abundance tracker. Please make sure you do your 25 things. Please make sure you do your convention worksheet and then tag people in it. Motivate people, help your team grow, um, and reach out and connect and really look at your cross-line relationships. People are in this call that you think you could learn from. Connect with them, connect with your leaders, um, and just go out and continue living a life of wellness, continue finding purpose and sharing, um, and just reach and lead a life of pure abundance where you are feeling like your wealth you're generating for families, for your friends, for the community and for the world is making an impact. So if anybody 
I know that we're having a hard time actually seeing each other, but if you have questions, you can ask them now. And if not, I will sign off and go ahead in the Facebook group and try and, and, and talk to anyone who has questions. Nobody? Y'all never ask me questions. You're welcome. Aaron knows. I love my team. This is like making me want to cry. Y'all are awesome. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop broadcast. Oh, wait, who has a question? Lindsay. I, I can't see you. It says your smart cam. It's like a... You guys are wonderful. I love my team. And um, just waiting. I think Lindsay, you're going to have to post it in Facebook because it's actually not showing your, your picture. Um, how do we get our group in ER? So I'm going to go ahead and actually go to the Facebook group, and I want Lori and Karis to talk about ER a little bit, just writing on there, and um, that should be able to help just motivating people to do it. Is that all right for everybody? Okay. Thank you.